So in this CM review video, we're going to cover lighting. So we're going to do two problems. We're going to do a problem based on the lumen method and a problem based on the watts per square foot um, and code. So let's, let's look at this problem. So this problem asks how many lamps per square foot are required for a space, given the following information. The coefficient of utilization is 0.8. The light loss factor is 0.6. The output of each lamp is 5,000 lumens, and the desired lighting level at the working surface is 50 foot candles. So to the right here is a general formula um, for the lumen method, and here are all the different variables. So in this case, um, we are solving for how many lamps per square foot. So since A is the area in square foot, we have to divide both sides by A, and we get N over A on this side, and we get F1 over LU times LLF times CU. We plug in all the values, and we get 0 0.0208 lamps per square foot. And so in general, in the CEM, you'll see just a mixture of a bunch of these different types of uh, um, problems. But if you ever see coefficient of utilization or a light loss factor or something to that effect, a good bet is that you're going to use the Lumen method. So let's talk about another example. So in this case, we have a 4,000 square foot office space, and it has 40 fixtures. Each fixture has three 32 watt lamps and a ballast factor of 1.1. So we're going to ask, does it meet ASHRAE 90.1 um, code for lighting power density if we use the area method? So first, we're going to calculate the watts per square foot, and then we're really going to um, compare the watts per square foot to the lighting power density code for offices. And if you look that up in ASHRAE 90.1, um, it should be 0.82 watts per square foot. So we calculate the watts per square foot by taking the um, basically the, the number of lamps per fixture times the wattage times the ballast factor. So basically this 3 times 32 times 1.1 is the power usage in watts for one fixture. And then we have 40 fixtures, and then we divide by 4,000 square feet, and we get our watts per square foot. Now, it's asking, does it meet the code? Since the watts per square footage, the 1.06, is above the 0.82, it does not meet code in this example. Okay, thanks for watching the lighting calculation video.